Hello, Pierluigi. Um, it is a pleasure welcoming you to the Data Innovation Summit, to its third edition here in Stockholm. Uh, before we continue with uh, further questions, can you please tell us more about your background and um, area of expertise? Yeah. So I come from the uh, let's say system integration and technology mm -hmm. uh, consulting area. I spent more than 10 years in uh, large system integration projects. And today I work for Mac as um, the head of the smart process automation um, program uh, in the finance uh, area. Okay, great. So, um, okay, Luigi, data-driven business and innovation is changing the world, okay? And it's continually doing so. In, you, in your opinion, can you give us some interesting examples of how organizations can excel in this area? Yeah, so, I mean, as you said, it's a, it, it's not a trend; it's a fact now. And um, actually, I mean, if, if you look at the uh, GBS, the shared service organization where I work in, uh, I mean, the, the the change that this kind of technology are bringing is tremendous. So, technologies like RPA or AI are really dramatically changing the way workforce now perform the processes. And and what we see is that within three to five years, I mean, the the, the profile of the people that actually we need to perform this process are going to be totally different. Uh, so the way we recruit and train people to perform this process is going to change dramatically. Mm. And um, um, you you actually mentioned it, but uh, what would some of the most common challenges and hinders be um, uh, when when it comes to data driven business? Uh, and on the other hand, what are the implications that can arise in case of not uh, uh, overcoming those challenges? Yeah. So I would say one of the biggest challenges is to integrate technology into, into business processes. Uh, that was mm -hmm. a little bit the focus of my presentation. I think technology has always been there. It will always get better, cheaper, mm -hmm. and faster. Uh, but how you actually go from your pilot to integrate that in a mm -hmm. scalable and, uh, let's say, reliable way to your business process mm -hmm. without, you know, disrupt them, <laughs> um, uh, is actually the, the the biggest challenge that I see in large in large enterprise. And the, and the price you will pay if you actually don't do that is 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 merely getting out of the market. And this is that I would say. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, uh, Pierluigi, you just gave a session, presentation about mm. Tinder for Robots process meets automation. Yeah. Can you make a, a small recap uh, of that? Yeah. Um, so, that uh, what, what I tried to explain in, in my presentation mm. was exactly how now large enterprises are really struggling in, in, uh, in, the, in taking all these emerging technologies that like AI, like RPA, like blockchain and really scale them into processes mm. and, and what are the, the, the challenges and the leverage that you have to use to, to make sure it happens, actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is RPA and why is this important and how right. far we have reached? <laughs> So uh, RPA, which stands for Robotic Process Automation, I think it was a back breakthrough technology for the, the, the um, uh, GBS or service um, uh, shared service industry because it really made possible to achieve automation in a, in a fast pace and in a, um, uh, let's say, mm, a costly, uh, uh, I would say, um, how can I say, um, with a, a lower investment mm -hmm. compared to any other technology. And, um, and, and this is dramatically changing. So, as I said in my presentation today, it's already a commodity technology, so something that you really are able to scale easily into a, a large enterprise. But what it will happen with RPA, I think it will consolidate and it will really make in, within the next three to five years, doing manual tasks or repetitive activities just uh, something of the past. Uh, that will be not acceptable to have any more human rekeying information yes. into, into, into a computer or dealing with system and in general repetitive and manual tasks. Um, it, and during your session, you mentioned integrating people, process and technology in one operating model. Yeah. How challenging that is. <laughs> It is a big challenge. I think um, that that's where really ha the focus of a program leading to uh, bringing automation into into business process mm -hmm. should focus. These are literally the three dimensions that you have you have to make sure they all work together. And it's uh, as I said, it's evolutionary. It doesn't happen mm -hmm. from one day to the other, especially the organization components of people. Mm -hmm. And now to to make sure they adapt to the change, I think it's it's. It's one of the main challenges. Mm -hmm. And uh, what would some of the recommendations be for those organizations that are still in the beginning of the journey of becoming data-driven? I think um, 
focus on use cases, uh, right, identifying the right use cases. Uh, and in general, I mean, a tip that I always say is just, just try it. I mean, um, mm. the technology comes at a pace that is too fast to, to, to wait for the perfect solution. You just have to, to start it and embrace a failure culture. Yeah. <laughs> so where failure is accepted, of course, because just the, the, pay, the, the price you pay, if you don't do anything, yeah. it's any way more than just, just yeah. fail yeah. In, in, exactly. in trying some technology. So that will be my, 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 my first mm -hmm. tip. And um, what can we expect in the nearest future, Luigi, in the next 12 months? <laughs> I would say, <laughs> I, I'm not sure, because it's, it's moving too fast, but, <laughs> Uh, if, we, if I stick in my cup of tea, so the, the shared service industry, I would say that um, definitely RPA will consolidate mm -hmm. now and uh, will become even more uh, of a commodity technology. And uh, I, will, I see more and more uh, industry trying to apply really artificial intelligence into the landscape and, and having some tangible result uh, uh, from, uh, from pilots or from integrating really this AI uh, technology into, into live uh, business processes. Hey Luigi, it was my pleasure of sure. having this interview with you. Well. And uh, thank you again for being part of the Data Innovation Summit. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much.